Hi. Howdy. How are you? I'm good. I uh, so I wanted to do this again because we we I interviewed you last year. Um, I look a little different now. I have dark hair. Last year I had bleached hair. Nice. <laughs> but it's it's been a year, and I wanted to catch up on the the world of Matt Farley and Motrin Media. Great. So I got some questions. Yeah, bring yeah. it on. So, you you had uh, you had show dates lined up for the past year. Now, how did how did COVID nineteen affect that? Uh, uh, the last show I did would have been um, I think it was the last day of February, because um, mm-hmm. I I was doing monthly shows in Danvers. That weekend was wild because uh, I got I got booked to perform at a at a frat house at Tufts University and so um, I got the whole band to join me Froggy the drummer flew up from uh, Florida he was like you betcha I'm gonna play at Tufts University <laughs> nice. and Tom, Tom came up for the weekend from New York and then Pete Pete lives across town so that was easy but the four of us four 42 year old dudes drove to a college and and we rocked out at this uh in this frat house it was insane they were like moshing to uh poop into a wormhole it was really (laughs) great yeah really wild and then the next night we had the monthly show in danvers so we called it our 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 new england tour you know because we had two shows in a row and while we were there we recorded the the basic tracks for a new album so it was like the greatest weekend ever and uh, and since then, um, I have not been allowed to perform. But um, I do have a show coming up this weekend. Um, like I couldn't find any indoor venues that had any reasonable like rules. Most of them you can only let like ten people in there. Yeah. And frankly, we sometimes my audience is that sh- small. But <laughs> uh, but I found an apple orchard where you like per- you perform like under a tent, but it's outdoors, you know. So it's kind of uh more relaxed in terms of uh all those all those like uh capacity rules and so i'm having my annual extravaganza on sunday i'm gonna do a five-hour concert but it's just just gonna be me and and pete um because the other two guys um are kind of too far away to 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 deal with all the travel rules and whatnot yeah interesting so i was wondering that because with how much shows you had planned, and then something like the virus come, it's really got to take a hit to you. Yeah, it stinks. <laughs> um, and it also like when it stop when it stops happening, then it's like you lose the momentum. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like after a few months, I, you know what? It's kind of a relief to not have to, <laughs> you know, once a month to not have to unpack my studio, throw it in the car, set it up at the place perform nice. for people then unpack and reset up and all that junk so uh part of me didn't miss it but um you know hopefully i guess i'll be back to i might not do it monthly when i when i do re, re, restart it yeah all right another thing i want to talk about is how i think within the past year you've grown quite a bit because of i think tiktok particularly yeah. And it's with uh, the the name poop songs. That's those right. ones. Yeah, those name ones, everyone's loving those. Yeah, it's been uh what's great about it is I haven't really done anything other than make the songs and then uh um recently my song C D baby started sending my songs to TikTok and people were discovering it and then that caused more people to discover it. And there have been thousands of videos made with all my name poop songs where I just sing a, a name followed by the word poop over and over again. Yeah. S- some of them have been viewed like two million times, which is crazy. And it's great. Uh, I think that's such a like cool way for them to find your stuff through like silly it, stuff like that. Yeah, people love it. It's uh it's good clean American fun. And um <laughs> and I'm I'm swamped with name requests people will contact me and be like hey you've done one for all my friends but you haven't done one for me and their name is like so obscure i'm like i don't i have no idea how to pronounce that but i I will do it for you yes good and as well as that uh i've seen that within the past year you've been recognized by billy eilish and charlie puth yeah but kind of 
Right. Well, Bill, Billie Eilish, she made that video a few years ago. I just am frequent. I frequently repost it mm. to brag to people about yeah. that. Charlie, Charlie Puth. Puth? I don't even. I didn't even know who he was. I got a text from some random person. They were like, "Charlie Puth just did a video <laughs> about your song." And I, I quickly looked up Charlie Puth, and I was like, "Oh, this guy seems pretty popular." In 45 minutes, the the song was played like 50,000 times on TikTok. I'm like, "Yeah, this yeah. is great!" <laughs> and then, oh no, he took it down. Why? I don't know. He took it down. Somebody got to him. Oh, I bet you he got a call from his manager. They're like, Charlie, what are you promoting this weird guy's music for? TikTok is for our music. Take that down. You look like a fool singing, you know, dancing to the Charlie Poop song. And poor Charlie had to take it down. And poor me. Oh, but, you know, for 45 glorious minutes, <laughs> the your, video your was... 15 minutes of fame was tripled. <laughs> That's right. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. That was really interesting to see. Like, I feel like you're 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 this close to getting like super recognized, and then somehow <laughs> it's always it's always thwarted at the end. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what's beautiful is you know, like basically the original plan is is more or less working. You know, the original plan was you don't need a hit song. You just need twenty thousand misses. You know, uh, and and I, I, it's working. So uh, I'm making a, you know, a full time living off of all those songs, and um, I couldn't be happier. Yeah, that's great. I love it. Um, so my two favorite movies of yours okay. are Slingshot Cops. Nice. I'm repping the, yeah. repping it, great. and great uh, nice. Which I'll probably be watching Freaky Farley this coming week. Because of the, the oh, time, yeah. it's time to do it. Yeah, but uh, have you been like in the works for any other movies? Oh yeah, we're uh, yeah. hard at work. So I can even show you. I got a new camera. Ooh, that's very interesting. Oh wow, yeah, that looks great. It is great. Yeah, I'm very excited. This is the old Canon XF400, and um, you know, prior to this, we were using a still camera that just happened to have an HD video option. Um, but it really, it was like video was not its main um, selling point. It was really just a still camera. So uh, it didn't have like autofocus. You know, once you started recording, the focus wouldn't adjust at all. Yeah. And uh, it just, you know, I mean, and we and we made River Beast, Local Legends, Slingshot Cops, and the Christmas special with, with that old camera. Plus, so with the old camera, we're, we're 80% done a new one called Metal Detector Maniac. Yes, but, okay. Um, but the same reason Tom can't perform at the show on Sunday is the same reason he can't uh, come and finish filming. So we have yeah. like two days worth of filming to do, but we're, we just can't, we can't do just it. can't get around and, to it. <laughs> just you know, It's just, you know... He did, He would feel, he, and I would too. He would feel weird crossing state lines and and, and filming and staying over, uh, just to make a, a stupid movie with with his friends. So that's on hold, but mm -hmm. fear not, uh, dear viewer. Charlie and I are are well uh, underway at writing the next movie called "Heard She Got Married," and um, oh yeah, sounds and, like a romantic um, drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dark. It's dark. Whoa. I mean, there's some humor, but it's very different. Both of these movies have a different vibe to them. They're both in black and white. Uh, okay. They're funny. They're funny, but a different kind of funny. You know, like I feel like Slingshot Cops. We we kind of like mastered the uh, that type of movie. It was like, all right, we did it. This is exactly the type of weird, wacky amateur movie that we've all you know we always wanted to make. What time to time to do something else so we're, we're trying to have the humor be more like organic and 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 re like funny because it's funny instead of funny because it's weird you know what i mean okay yeah yeah so we got that um and both both of these movies uh deal with like an investigation of uh of like potential crimes so uh cool. uh yeah so that's exciting and and we're not going to stop there either um 
I've got five other movie ideas that I want to complete by like 2025. So, uh, great. So between now and 2025, I'll have released seven new movies. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wait, I can show you right here. One second. Boom. I have them both. Oh yeah. Collector's items. Those are I do. Yeah. And I think, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I see it. There. Yeah. There's your poster. I'm, I'm one of your biggest fans. I'm, I must say. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, yes. Speaking of biggest fans in the music industry, yeah. who are you a big fan of? Um, uh, a lot of like pretty obvious. Yeah, a lot of pretty obvious people like uh, the Beatles and and Bob yeah. Dylan. Um, let's see. I like M. Ward. Uh, he uh, he's from the he does that she and him uh, duo with Zoe Deschanel, uh, which is which is good stuff. What else? Jonathan Richmond's real good. Tom Waits, Chuck Berry. I've been listening to a lot of Chuck Berry lately. Um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty like I just love Spotify because I can just go down these weird uh, avenues and discover stuff that I you know it's like I'd never buy that album but I'll listen to it you know and uh, so but my my main guys are, are those uh, you know kind of classic rock uh, guys for sure. Great, yeah. I always wondered that. Now, how many more songs have you written? Within the past you year, what are you at now? Where, I was, where was, was the last uh, time we talked? You, a uh, year ago, you were like you were just over twenty thousand, I think. So I'm at twenty thousand seven hundred fifty-seven. Wow. Yeah. Uh, after I hit twenty thousand, I kind of didn't release very much for the next like six months. But then last winter, I uh, I got back to working hard, and I should be at twenty-one thousand around the new year give or take uh, sure. so okay. it's like i hit a milestone and then i feel like i can relax a little bit but then it's like all right gotta get back to work yes it's <laughs> true true all right um i wanted to have some sort of request for you uh okay. basically i i love the the states and cities songs those are great yeah and you're not done with those because, like, there's 50 states and you've only done so many albums. Right. Now, I've noticed you don't have one for Arkansas yet. Oh, right. Yeah. Now, me and my friends love to take this trip. We have this place out in Arkansas. Uh, and we, it's like a like a second home to me. Nice. It's a very small town. But if I could, if you could make a note of this, yeah. could you write a song about Salem, Arkansas? Salem, Arkansas. Yeah, yeah, I've got a. It's um, it's tough. Like, m mostly I'm just doing name poop songs because you got to strike while the iron's hot. But I have a few people like you who've who've been um, pushing. One, one, a couple people want me to do Indiana. There's some Delaware people in uh, Arkansas. But what I've told all of them is keep reminding me every couple months. Just send an email yeah. and say, "Don't forget Arkansas, specifically Salem." And I will yeah. definitely it'll, it'll happen. Don't you worry. Believe you me, it will happen. Maybe yeah. I'll even mention the house where you stay at. <laughs> yeah, it's like this cabin in the woods. It's a cabin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we but, love yeah. going there. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't care when it comes out. It may be in like six years, but if it just has Salem on there, I'll, I'll be satisfied. I'll be Good. happy. All I, all, all I need to say is stay, keep on me, keep focus, keep me focused right. because it's tough. You know, it's like I, I'm my, I'm the secretary of Motern Media and I'm the president of Motern Media and I'm, <laughs> I'm every artist of Motern Media. I'm the janitor. You know, <laughs> it's like, like the accountant. It's a, it's it's cuckoo, you know. And so uh, I try to keep all those things organized, but I don't always succeed. True, true. Cool. Because I mean, how many how many states have you done yet for that? I don't know the exact number. I think it's somewhere in the mid-teens. I don't know, if yeah. fifteen or so. I've also done like Australia, Canada, France. True. Yeah. I think that's it for outside of the U.S. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's great because I. Uh, I it, I kind of feel like I'm never going to run out of uh, cities, you know? Like, 
it'll be a while. You know, I still have another what, uh, thirty-five U.S. states, and then there's. Oh, I did the U.K. too, but then you know, there's Russia. You know, plenty of places to talk about. <laughs> plenty of places to sing about. Yeah. Dubai. You know, so uh, <laughs> it's gonna keep me busy. Oh, Dubai. What a night. Is Dubai a city or country? I don't even know. Uh, I think it's a country, but I'm not. Right. Don't quote me on that. Although, is Dubai in the United Arab Emirates? In which case, United Arab Emirates is the country. I'm going to look this up. We're going to look this up. <laughs> so the U, UAE is a country. This is uh, th- thrilling stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dubai is the city in the United Arab Emirates. Okay. All right. On we go. All right. Um, yeah. Last year, when I interviewed you, and I was telling you all about my all, all to my friends and explaining what this was, my girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, she lives in Chicago, uh-huh. and I was telling her about this, and when I was mentioning it, she's like. I swear I've heard of this guy before. And I'm like, well, you may have. He's he's been on the internet. He's been. Heck yeah. And she told me that one of her good friends, whose name is Cole, uh, interviewed you a few years ago. And I just thought that was like so interesting because what a small world that I yeah. got that he got to interview and now I get to interview. So I just thought that was like cool. And I don't know. And I think the. Do you want to talk? Who's about so? Tell me more about Cole. Where's Cole from? I, I I don't remember it specifically. Do you know? He's from the Chicago area in Illinois. He said I think he interviewed you for some school newspaper or something like that, and it cool. might have been like a few years ago. Yeah, I'm very available. So uh... yeah, I wanted to say like I just I I admire how available you are because you you give out your phone number like hey call me anytime I'll be type of interview. And you, you reply to people on social media. Like, I think it's great. Yeah, totally. Um, I do, too. And um, there's multiple reasons. One, it's cool just to have conversations with people. It's, it, you know, I like that. Two, you never know, you know. I mean, uh, because you interview me, you put it up on YouTube, right? And, uh, you know, whoever's watching your thing is going to learn about me, and that's beautiful. And, uh, um... And those are the two reasons. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's enough. That's enough. Well, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm just glad you you do this stuff. And I would like to, maybe, in a year's time, around the end of October, we do another one of these. Because like, why not? Because you you will yeah. get to see how much you've changed in a year's time. Yeah. Yeah. And then someday you can make a documentary movie about it. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's called My Conversations with Farley. Yeah, <laughs> I'll watch yeah, it. That'd be great. My own yeah. Motrin Media movie. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Well, well, yeah, this is really fun. Uh, great catching up, and I'll talk to you in twelve months. Yes, perfect. All right. Have a great yeah. night. You too. Bye-bye.